It's already June, and the beginning of spring seems forever ago. So much has happened since the trees were still bare and the forest floor was covered with anemones. When the pandemic hit us, we stayed home, played in the garden, went for small adventures every day, and got the garden ready for warmer days. It was a scary time, but in our little safe corner of the world, it almost seemed unreal at times. We made the most of a strange situation, and now I think back on those days as happy memories. The uncertainty meant that everything was on hold, and we had time to just be as a family. I just wanted to pop in here and talk a little bit about our vegetable patch. Um, since it's the first year we managed to make a real proper vegetable path, I'm really excited and so we decided to go for raised beds. Uh, last year we had a small patch in the same area. Uh, I think there was a patch here before we moved in as well, but it had totally grown over. Um, so. We got six rows of raised beds. They're the kind of uh, pallet boxes that you can, yeah, you can put them on top of pallets, uh, and they are low, quite low. Um, so we will see how that goes. We put in uh, cardboard boxes in the bottom, and then our neighbor, because we live next to the forest, uh, he works in the forest, and they make compost from old leaves and and branches and stuff. And he came with a big load of um, compost to give to us that we could use uh, so what I've been doing is I put this in the bottom and then I've been adding um, the soil that I buy a compost that I buy from the store to put on top just so it's a little bit easier for things to grow because it's still quite has a lot of uh, leaves and vegetable matters some parts are a little more have turned into dirt already and others are still quite leafy um, Yes, so we have this area with the three rows uh, and in front of that we have some berry bushes. So here there are some raspberries, next to me it's gooseberries and then uh, there is one black currant. Um, in that bed over there there are strawberries that we had already last year so I dug them all out of the ground. In this bed, uh, I will put a, a kind of uh, cochette that's called patisson, I think. And they are used in the Polish cuisine. And they look like little... My partner is Polish and that's why he wanted them. Uh, they look like little pastries or 
like little pies or UFOs and the kind I got are yellow so I'm quite interested to see how those will work out uh, behind me I just planted um, some crochets that I have been uh, I sewed them inside the house and they grew really well I actually have way too many plants so I'm thinking if I should do something with the other plants maybe put them somewhere else on the property um, but yeah I put in three I think if you can see there I think um, probably two would have been enough because they need around a meter between the plants uh, and the beds are not that big but just in case one of them doesn't really yeah work out I put three and then maybe I will remove one of them uh, what more so in that bed over there we will put peas and I need to make some trellis I think it's called from branches and so they can climb in the last bed in the corner I sowed um, radishes we had good luck with those last year and carrots carrots as well and um, chive and also a kind of uh, broccoli uh, Italian kind of broccoli that's called uh, cimedia rapa and it is uh, a little bit bitter uh, and I really like it in the Italian cuisine um, in the last one I planted the one just behind me I planted potatoes um, so yeah we will also have some potatoes I wanted to keep it small this year and maybe we can build from this there's plenty of space in the garden so we could probably put another row of, of uh, beds or even make another patch somewhere else but I just want to keep it simple as uh, we have two small children and time is not always, um, yeah, it's sometimes hard to find time. We also have to keep the rest of the garden and I have other plans for flowers and so on. I also want to plant, uh, to sow some uh, sunflowers around. We have to put up a fence around the garden or the vegetable path because we have deers passing. We're just next to the forest. Uh, and they really liked last year, they ate all the leaves of the um, gooseberry bush. I don't know why, but they really liked the gooseberries. So we didn't get any gooseberries last year. And this year I really want to uh, save my gooseberries and enjoy them. Um, also, we have just gotten chickens and I'm super excited about that. So the chickens um, are right now in their coop and we will keep them there for some weeks until they know that this is their home and they're used to it. But then I want to let them out into the garden during the day and so we have to kind of protect the vegetables from chickens and deers and other things. Yeah, so it's really exciting and I'm looking so much forward to see how this year goes. Um, it's the first time I'm trying to grow in raised beds, so I'm also curious to see what we learn, what we can uh, take from this experience and make it better next year and so on. After a few weeks of keeping the chickens in the coop, we started to let them out during the day and now the ladies follow me everywhere I go. And the kids love them. They have been such a fun addition to our little place. After six weeks of being home all together, life slowly returned to old routines and I could get back to work 
with my head buzzing with ideas for new designs and videos. I've also been skirting wool from the spring shearing. Unfortunately, a lot had felt it, but there was still some beautiful fleece in there. I will bring it to the mill next week to make yarn for the fall. I never get tired of looking at those silvery and charcoal tones from the Gotland sheep.